In this section of Test Flight School, we'll go over the reverse maneuver. Every test member that goes through flight school learns the reverse maneuver on their first day. That doesn't mean you have to master it, but I do make sure that everyone learns it. Like any other tool, having it in your repertoire is not an end-all answer to winning dogfights. But what it will do is come in handy at some point down the line, maybe a week from now, maybe a month. You'll be in a dogfight, and it will hit you that, hey, if I could pull a reverse maneuver right now, I could fire at the person tailing me and evade them at the same time. So, with that in mind, we've noticed a couple of very easy ways to do the reverse maneuver, and one we teach everyone, and the one that I personally use. The first is really simple. What you want to do is zero out your throttle. You cannot perform a reverse maneuver without the throttle zeroed out. The only speed I'm maintaining right now is that from gravity, which is pushing me down. The reverse maneuver is performed with this throttle zeroed out. You are actually reversing your thrusters on your ESF, and then using something else other than the throttle, increasing your velocity. This makes you fly backwards. In this first example, we'll be using the booster as our forward velocity. First, pitch up. Just aim at the skybox. And then, start slowly pitching down with the mouse. While you pitch down, you're going to hit the shift key to boost, and you will go backwards. It is more noticeable when you are watching someone else do it, or you are in third person. This particular method won't make you do an almost sideways U-turn backwards. Your controls will change when you are in the reverse maneuver. Be sure to practice to see how those changes affect you. Once mastered, you'll be able to keep a bead on the target while flying backwards. There are many ways to perform a reverse maneuver, and if you search YouTube, you'll find hundreds that are explaining the best way to do it. In reality, there's not really a best way to do it. What you want to do, though, is find the way that works right for you, and practice it, and make sure that when you need it, you can pull it out at any time. And also, understanding the mechanics of it will help, too. The way I perform my reverse maneuver is I roll to the left or right, I yaw in the opposite direction, and then I use my vertical thrusters as my velocity. You can pitch up and pitch down in this, or switch, and you'll start going backwards. If you use boost at the right time, it will also work. Again, practice these motions on your own. If you have any questions, be sure to send me a message on YouTube, Reddit, or through TeamSpeak.